Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been another gorgeous day in Sirencester today. Um, so nice that we've actually been sat outside in the garden and the weather is supposed to hold up. It's supposed to be clear all night long. Now, my video this week was supposed to be a Milky Way vlog. I actually went out last night, um, left around two o'clock. Um, and my plan was to, to, to take a couple of Milky Way images and try to try and capture a Milky Way art shot. But um, I got to my location and the, the cloud or the, the sky was completely clear everywhere you looked apart from just on the horizon where the Milky Way was visible. So I waited out, I waited for about 45 minutes or so to try and uh, capture an image, but there was just a, a bank of cloud on the horizon. So I didn't manage to get a, uh, a shot of the Milky Way yet, which is unfortunate. I'll probably have to try again next month. Um, but tonight's video is going to be on the Black Eye Galaxy or sometimes called the Evil Eye Galaxy. Um, so this is quite a lesser shot galaxy, I suppose. Um, I've been trying to avoid some of the, the common ones uh, recently. Last week I shot the Whale and the Hockey Stick Galaxy. Um, then I shot uh, Hickson's 44 Galaxy Group, which was a really tough one to, to process and actually get right. Um, and I'm setting myself another challenge tonight with the Black Eye Galaxy, because I heard this is not an easy galaxy to photograph. So it's not actually that far away, but I think it's quite a faint target. Um, and there seems to be quite a lot of detail in the core of the galaxy, but not very much visible detail. The rest is blocked by quite a lot of dust around the outside. So it can be a bit of a challenge to capture and to process, but I'm gonna give it a go. Um, and hopefully I'll have something to show you at the end of the video. Okay, so I've just gone through my polar alignment, which didn't take very long. I think it only took about four or five minutes and I got that nice and accurate. So I, hopefully I should get some good tracking tonight. I've also just slewed to my target, which you've just seen. And um, now all I really need to do is wait for it to get dark and start collecting some data. Now, from what I can see from the preview images on the ASI Air is that the target is going to be really small in the frame. So I don't think it's going to be the best image ever, but I'm hoping to give it a go anyway. I think to do this target justice, you do really need a longer focal length telescope. So this is only 1000 millimeters, but I think you probably need 2000 millimeters plus to, to really pull out some of the detail in this target. But I'll give it a go and I will let you know how I get on it and I'll show you that image in a few moments time but thank you very much for watching I hope you uh, like the video I hope you like the image at the end um, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, and please hit that like button that does really help but thank you very much and I will see you in the next one